I was there to help out and lighten the area through my job, which is uh, uh, theatrical teamsters, in which I work on film, commercials, and television show. But in this case, we like the area so that they could search through the rubbles to try and save lives. I took it upon myself after the first day there. I didn't see anybody doing any filming. I didn't see anybody doing any, taking any pictures. So I said, you know what? Somebody has to document this, you know? So I took a camera in every day and I documented every and anything that was going on. I felt like I was an invisible man because everywhere I went, everywhere I was filming, no one was touching me, no one was saying I couldn't, no one was saying I should not. It was a lot of rubbles. You could actually see fire still burning, smokes in the background. It, it, it smelled like death. I had to take my clothes and throw them away afterwards. You know, you, the, the, the type of smell you were getting there, it's indescribable. It was a lot of the time I was filming, I was filming with tears in my eyes, you know. Uh, it didn't bring a closure. It didn't, uh, it didn't uh, help in trying, it didn't help keep me from being emotional about what was going on. In fact, it was more emotional to watch and to see that this is actually happening. It is not a movie set. It is very hard to watch. Uh, to watch the footage. Uh, I actually don't watch it much, but I submit it to my, my editor, and uh, I'm trying to uh, make a, a documentary. Uh, initially, I was gonna try to get a, uh, a release date of uh, 10 years anniversary because Osama bin Laden has been killed. And I guess to some of the families, or all the families, that's a closure. But in telling my story, it's not a closure. The closure is when the towers is completely back up. And I think that's when my story will end.